Yeah, these mics are like really, really great. Like things could go on. Okay, all right. So, amazing audience, we are live again with Sabrina Hickey. Yes. Wow, that's not a good name to have when you're coming up in no. college, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Sabrina, it's a great pleasure to connect with you. Uh, please tell me, which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this time in history? Probably talking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, probably. probably. I like people. You do? Mm -hmm. I'm a people person. I like to meet people and get to know them and make connections. And I like to talk. Mm. So thankfully I met Suzanne because I like to talk. Yeah. Does Suzanne and like to talk too? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> so That's a safe yes. Yes. I agree. But she talks good talk. Yeah. Great talk, yeah. Meaningful talk. Which is important. Mm -hmm. yes. Who did you learn the skill of talking from? <sighs> Family? Actually, probably my grandfather. Oh, really? Um, Tell us more, please. Um, he knew everybody. He never stopped talking. <laughs> <laughs> um, to the detriment of his uh, wife <laughs> on occasion. <laughs> I used to hear, John, come on. <laughs> and now I hear the same thing from my own children. Mom, we're supposed to leave. Mom. <laughs> yeah. So that's wonderful. Yeah. So what do you do? What do you what do you do? I mean, I I'm seeing this thing on your. I mean, ask. it's like oh, I <laughs> ask questions, uh -huh. but I do have an ego, right? <laughs> so I mean, I'm seeing ask me about packs, and I'm like, who's doing the interview here, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, but tell us about PAX, please. So PAX is a nonprofit international foreign exchange organization. Um, so I help to bring high school students from 70 different countries to American host families. And I help find schools for them to study in for a semester or for a year. And I help to build international families. Ooh. So hopefully people to people interactions where you learn that the world isn't exactly as it's shown on media. You know, whether it's news or social media or whatever, you meet a person you don't meet a stereotype. Yeah. You might have a stereotype, but However. hopefully by the end, or end of the exchange, you know that there's a little bit more than what you first perceived. Yeah, I would I would push forward to, to say a lot more oh, yeah. than what yeah. you perceive. Uh, it's, it's one of the things I've been fighting with uh, where, you know, what we're doing, sometimes you want to get the perfect picture, right? Mm -hmm. Or put a filter on it. But I think pe more and more people need to understand the challenges so that when they sign up, they can understand, hey, I signed up for this. Yeah. But many people aren't sharing those challenges, right? Oh. Have you seen that as well? Oh, yeah. And there are expectations, too, that mm. sometimes you don't even realize that you have. You expect something, and also the student expects something. And then just due to cultural differences, you realize, wow. Yeah. I expected a lot, you know, I need to forgive a little bit, I need to relax a little bit. You learn a lot about yourself as a person and as a family. Yeah. It also expands the opportunity for cultural uh, communication, doesn't yeah. it? Because you're coming with a listening perspective as opposed to this is who I am and how I am, right? But sometimes it's hard to listen. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's one of the hardest things to listen. Uh -huh. <laughs> and sometimes it's hard to realize that maybe you're not right. Ah. <laughs> or maybe your viewpoints aren't exactly, you know, perfect. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's a learning experience. Yeah, one of the things we've seen in this trip as well is like uh, how things that we were, like, like it, isn't, it isn't applicable to the environment. Okay. So what you learned back home, uh -huh. it isn't applicable to the environment. So there are principles in life, yes, very applicable, right, right across the world. Right. But then there are just habits that, that, exactly. that aren't applicable to the environment. Have you seen that as well? Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, for example, bread in <laughs> Germany. <laughs> An American bread, yeah. And yeah. yeah, just because you're used to that, it's not... That's not the way it is everywhere. Yeah. Um, well, if you're talking environment, you know, we can talk about environmental conservation and the differences between Japanese society where they're required to recycle yeah. in a very particular way. I know in my family, 
Um, I really try to recycle. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's trash. It's, it, it, yeah. yeah. It's trash. <laughs> and you know, you kind of half ha uh, haphazardly, you know, rinse out a can, toss it in the recycle bin. Yeah. You know, in Japan, they really take the extra mile. They they wash everything with soap and water, and if you don't, you get a fine. Wow. So it's like very detailed. Or even air conditioners, right? <laughs> yeah. We take that for granted. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Belgium in October and honestly it wasn't terribly bad but we went uh, my husband and I stayed in a hotel and it was not the season for air conditioning <laughs> so like the whole hotel was hot and because it was hot it also kind of smelled a little bit yeah there's a scent yeah, that was <laughs> there is a scent yeah. yeah well that's intriguing what's one other thing you've done consistently over the last three years push my boundaries Hmm. Get outside my comfort zone. How does that make you feel? Uh, well, it makes you feel. It makes me feel nervous at first. Yeah. But it also makes me feel like I'm learning about myself and that I'm doing more. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm not confined to a box. I am more than just what I thought I was. Why would you suggest uh, other people do that? Like, get out of that box. Because if you always stay in that box, you don't know what your potential is. Mm. You don't really know who you are. You don't know who you could be. You don't know if you can help somebody. You don't know if you can learn something. You just stay in your little space. Mm. Where's the best place for people to connect with what you do? Um, me. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, you can go on, on <laughs> the web. <laughs> www.pax.org. Um, P A X dot O R G. That's um, wonderful. That's simple. It's simple. Yeah. W dot P A X dot mm -hmm. O. Pax means peace. All right. Well, let's switch gears for a moment. Let me now invite you into my imaginary time machine that okay. is surrounded with beautiful, warm blue Caribbean water. Nice. Sabrina, what is your earliest childhood memory? Playing on romper stompers. Well, what is a romper stomper? Okay. They're like. Well, the ones I'm imagining are plastic, but you could also have had like food cans, metal tin cans with ropes and you step on those ropes and you kind of pull your feet up and walk. Oh, so, so it's like, like uh, still, yeah, on. but stilts. safer, a bit safer. Kind of. <laughs> so the cans are filled <laughs> or they're empty? They're empty. And yeah. they never? Nope, they're never full. I mean, I mean, they never like crush them no no I mean, they're strong tin cans they not the be, ones like we have no right mm, well no but oh i was three okay. so like not as large as i am now and well, i don't know how large right. you are right now <laughs> I, I don't understand that but yeah so not as heavy you know? <laughs> a three-year-old isn't gonna yeah all right so you're on those things right mm -hmm. you're three years old why does that memory stick out so clearly I don't know maybe because i felt like i accomplished something i was yeah. walking without falling or stumbling and it was fun yeah it was something fun that i could do outside and just i don't know play can i offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind sure sometimes in life there are individuals who do not meet the height of what they need to accomplish but through assistance like packs folks you can get that. You can get the height that is required for you to accomplish your goals. I have always been height challenged. <laughs> <laughs> if we fast forward to when you were 12, what was your favorite song? Um, oh, probably Eat It by Weird Al Yankovic. All right, all right. <laughs> On a record player. <laughs> I'm my friend where well, we've arrived at our destination but before we get off of this time machine there's a small declaration form so it's yes or no possibly a bit more okay. have you chosen someone Sabrina to pass on your skills to I have are you married I am do you have children I do how many three boys and girls all boys but I do have international children that live all across the world like how many average ten Wow do you believe in God? Yes. Do you have an inner circle of friends? Inner circle of friends? Yes. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? No. How about three hours a week? Yes. What about screen time, the phone and the computer? Is it more than eight? I'm on screen a lot. <laughs> yeah. I'm it's looking for people who spend less than eight. I'm not finding them. <laughs> well, a lot of networking has to be on the screen. But Everything. I'm trying to lower that because okay. 
I am trying to spend more time focusing on my kids rather than, so just like doling out that time period. Yeah. If you had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents Sabrina Hickey, what would you say that is? <sighs> Give a little bit more. Hmm. Love it. Sabrina, this is a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? Put yourself out there. Do something that you might not have ever considered, whether, whether it's hosting an exchange student or whether it's you know, flying across the ocean, you know, going on a trip. Just try something new because it will expand your mind and it will make your life better. I love it. Sabrina Hickey, www.paax.org. Thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12-Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Thanks. You're welcome.